Greetings everybody. Today we're going to be talking about tool totes. And by tool totes I don't mean this doctor bag. Or is what I call it a doctor bag. I don't know if anybody else calls these doctor bags. I call them doctor bags. One, they're crappy. Two, they're cheap. And you usually get them for free. You don't ever actually purchase these. They just show up when you buy a set of something. And the same goes for airborne. So we're going to throw these to the side because I look at it. I mean, I've, I've used this a few times and there's holes in the bottom here. It's just, it's cheap. It's cheap construction. And they're like, Hey, you buy this screwdriver set with these pliers or these impact guns. And we'll give you this, uh, I will say that's one thing that's got, it's got rubber rails on the bottom. So it's better construction, even though it's all still just cheap canvas and shit. It's so much better. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is an actual fucking tool tote. So, this is a tough built. They make various sizes of this. There's one that's smaller. Buy one compartment, and by compartment I mean there's three compartments in it. One, two, three. And I went with this because I needed something to put my tools in that were kind of loose. Like my pliers and these little, yeah, I'm not gonna dig it out right now because I've only got one hand, but these little bit ratchets and my Allen keys and my AC Delco cordless ratchet. And then I've got actual ratchets over here, half inch, three eighths. I've got my little pocket light. I've got a putty scraper for reasons. And then this, I'm going to do a video on this, but I'm missing some pieces. I've sacrificed them to a mud puddle and I couldn't find them again. So I'm going to buy another one and I'm actually going to do a video on that. And then I've got a pocket knife in there. And then I did realize that I threw that across the shop. So I'll pick that one up later. But I did realize that I actually did have some snap-on screwdrivers after I was looking at this. Granted, they are ratcheting screwdrivers. And I do like this one because it, you know, obviously everybody's got one of these. They're fucking everywhere. But they, I like it because it turns and that gives you a little bit more. So that one's pretty cool, but it's a bit driver. Now, if they made that in, well, if they made that in a solid shaft screwdriver that ratchets without bits in it, that would probably cost an arm and a leg and be too expensive for what it is. But that's neither here nor there. I do have my, my Cobra heads are in here. And, sorry, I'm not a good cameraman. I have one arm. This is a big bag, and I'm not set up for this. I've got my Nipex fucking mini bolt cutters. Uh, Mac. This and that. More Cobra heads. I've got my ratchet, my wrenches in here. Which I'll probably go over those, because I really do like them. Uh, and then, what the fuck? Oh, another wrench that I didn't put back in the bag. I just threw it in a thing. And hey, look, a Harbor Freight screwdriver. I can go there. And then the uh, the old AC Delco cordless ratchet, she goes right there. She sits pretty well, nice and, nice and secure. No problems there. So the one thing that I really like about this system, it's a hard plastic bottom. And you can put a whole hell of a lot of stuff in this. They also make one that's bigger than this and it has one of those like pull out luggage things, you know, like those guys at the airport and they pull the thing out and they're pushing their luggage around because they can't carry it on their back. They make one like that with big old pneumatic tires on it. And that one's pretty expensive, but it's got a zip up top and it's cool. I wanted this because I knew this was pretty much what I was gonna need. Now, the one thing that's really neat about this system, the tough built system in and of itself, is this it's got bags that you can attach to the bag itself the toad itself so like right here holster and then you can just pop this damn thing off slap this lock on your belt or you buy a tool belt for it, a tough built tool belt. 
Now I'm not necessarily sold on this. They make one that's actually got like a padded rubber piece on it. And I bet that would prop, or not padded rubber, but just a padded, padded waistband on it. That would probably be better. This one seems to get loose and then kind of fall down and it'll, it'll pull your pants down because, I mean, with the amount of crap you can hold onto it. So it basically turns this tool belt into a carpenter tool tote thing. And then they've got like this pliers one. And these bags, or these pouches for, for belts, are in and of themselves relatively inexpensive. I think this one was like 11 or $12. It wasn't much, maybe 20 at the most. And the holster was $17.99, I think. And then this one, they call it the electric, electrician's pouch. And you can put your DMM in there. And then you can coil up your tape or your whatever on here. You got room for some screwdrivers and stuff. The other cool part about this one that I really like is it's got a, it's got a little stand in the back. I'm going to go through that stuff next, later. This stuff will be covered. Don't worry about this now. That's a sneak peek into what's to come. But anyway, there's that. And that's pretty cool. I liked that about this system. So, because after the first time that I grabbed this out of the back of my truck and heaved it across the job site to get to the machine I needed to work on, I mean, I don't have a scale. If I did, I would put it on there. But it holds a tremendous amount of weight without any give whatsoever. And for that, the Tough Bill Tool Tote is one hell of a deal.